Well, Hi, Penny. <laughs> Are you like, Tigger? Are you Tigger? <laughs> Are you Tigger for Thanksgiving? Yeah, you're on the wrong collar, but that's okay. Like, you know, when you shake hands and the little <laughs> thing, <laughs> we tried to oh do that, God. but yeah, I couldn't find them. Oh. Take a video. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> you can't get it in the picture. You can't get it in the picture. No, you can't. <laughs> I'm pumped about this jelly. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> and the tequila. So, what are these things? Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, what are they? <laughs> oh, They're Oreo man. truffles. Oreo truffles. Oh. Made by Randy. Randy made them. Yeah, and delicious. Randy's not here to enjoy the Thai food. Ruth, how was your birthday? Great. Cherry pie. Cherry pie. Yeah. Cherry pie. <laughs> and cherry friends. Pie and chocolate truffles and friends. Mm. 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 Warm cherry pie. Gotcha. Uh, let's make sure we get the video. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Bye. See you in the spring. <laughs> All right, yeah, so we are leaving Savannah. It is the 28th of November, 2014, and we are heading out to sea down the Bull River. It is sunrise, November 29th, and we are in the middle of the Gulf Stream. Uh, we left Savannah yesterday. We uh, will be transiting to Spanish Wells in about three days total time. Uh, we'll get there sometime on Monday. Okay, this is obviously a chart of Cape Hatteras to the Straits of Florida. Here's Cape Hatteras and Straits of Florida, or the northern part of Florida is down here. Uh, this is Savannah. We left Savannah at 2 p.m. yesterday. Um, we sailed this uh, through the night. Uh, it's about 2 a.m. we arrived here. Uh, this curve here, uh, we actually did not change course at that point. This is the effect of the Gulf Stream. Uh, the Gulf Stream is a, uh, essentially a river in the ocean of warmer water that uh, runs north. And at this location is running northeast. But that's just the effect of the Gulf Stream pushing us north. As we maintain the same course, it just pushed us this way. zesty out here. We've got, uh, oh, I don't know, this looks like about six foot seas, four to six foot seas. The sun is out. Um, once we crossed the Gulf Stream, the temperature increased radically. We uh, are now in the low 70s out here. Um, and they're probably in the 50s um, west of us on land. So all is well. We left Savannah on Friday afternoon and it's currently Sunday late afternoon. And we're out in the middle of the North Atlantic. Currently we're right where this little green boat symbol is. And that is about 200 miles east of Cape Canaveral. Uh, Upper Bahama Banks right here below us. We're going to skirt that on the Atlantic side, on the outside, and then go straight down to the northern part of uh, the southern Bahamas. Uh, right here, there's Harbor Island, it even says so. We're headed to Harbor Island ultimately for our first uh, stay of the season. And right now we're under sail and doing pretty well. What's going on over here? Bread oh, yeah. And I'm going to make turkey sandwiches. Ooh. Leftover Thanksgiving. Leftover Thanksgiving. Yep. Cranberry sauce and all. Oh boy, there's the cranberry sauce. <laughs> we are loaded with goods. Now, what that looks like out here. 
Yep, getting all splashy splashy. Cockpit. Oh, I checked this out. Should be a beautiful sunset. We've been sailing since 1.30 on Friday. Saturday, Sunday, and this is Monday, 1.30. How do you feel, Pierce? Well, I'm a little tired, especially since we've been hand steering for the last, I don't know, 15 hours. So, it's uh, part of the program. And it's pretty gnarly out here. We've got some pretty serious uh, seas, six to eight feet seas. Uh, winds in the low 20s. We are currently in the Northeast Providence Channel. Um, we've uh, gone around the east side of Abaco, and we are heading to the North Central Bahamas to make the first landfall in Spanish Wells. Where are we, Ruthie? Hey, we're almost there. We have an hour to go. We're about eight miles off of um, Spanish Wells area. Yay! Another quick chart brief. Um, here's our actual course, this thin red line, outside the east of Great Abaco Island. I'm going to zoom in now to the area of our destination. Uh, this is the island of Eleuthera, this long skinny island here. Uh, Spanish Wells is the little island right there. You can see our course line comes down this way. When we got behind the Bahama Bank here, uh, the seas settled significantly. It went way down to two to three foot seas and it was much more comfortable. Um, but then our engine wouldn't start um, when we were planning to turn in behind Royal Island here and head into Meek's Patch to anchor uh, at 10.30 at night. Um, so uh, Ruth stayed at the tiller. I went below and tried to fix things. Um, anyway, we ended up sailing, uh, slowed the boat way down, and sailed all, all the way down here. Um, couldn't get the engine going, so we just turned around and tacked all the way back up um, inside the uh, southwest reef here. This little area of uh, plus signs is the reef. Um, and you can see our little red line here. Uh, sailed up on one long tack. Um, tacked here and tacked again and went in and behind uh, what the locals called Max Patch, uh, spelled Meeks Patch. And then we anchored here uh, behind Meeks Patch with protection from the east winds and spent the first three days in the Bahamas there uh, licking our wounds and uh, fixing a few issues. And then ultimately uh, we uh, got the motor running and uh, motored in uh, to Russell Island. This total distance here is maybe three miles. Um, in behind Russell Island, um, and then in the south channel of uh, the Spanish Wells Harbor entrance, uh, which is right here. And then this is the island of St. George's Key. The town is named Spanish Wells. This total distance about a mile and a half, and this is less than a quarter mile wide. Very small island uh, when considered all by itself. There is a bridge to Russell. Uh, that's another island that extends uh, another mile or so uh, to the west. Good morning. It's um, Tuesday morning, and we just arrived <laughs> in Spanish Wells last night, 10.30 p.m., and after an extremely rough sail, uh, six to eight foot seas and 20 to 25 knot winds for 30 hours, uh, we are got in last night, slept for about 10 hours, and now we're kind of uh, washing the salt off and licking our wounds. Uh, we had some damage along the way and uh, we had some things get wet, so um, I'm working on projects. I just found one of Pierce's secret hiding places. Hey there. Refrigerator Repair 101. The gasket fits in this thing. 
right? Mm -hmm. And what I find is I take this hose off and it's sticking out, it's looped out back here. Mm -hmm. It's like it comes loose and just goes out the out hole. Mm -hmm. in here just off this uh, promontory rock um, um, we're heading between the two channel marks and into the south entrance to, of Spanish Wells very close in hey we're coming into Spanish Wells and it's a lovely sight Draining off all the salt after the long passage. I bet it, it doesn't do the same thing for quite a while.
large vessels um, over the top of Eleuthera Island. That area is called the Devil's Backbone for good reason. Uh, it's a treacherous reef system. It's about oh, three miles long, two to three miles long. And uh, almost every pleasure boat and certainly every commercial boat takes a pilot on in Spanish Wells um, or on the other side and uh, is piloted by the Spanish Wells pilot through the Devil's Backbone. Oh, looks like the anchorage we were planning to anchor in is filled up. Got some cruisers that have come down from the Abacos during the more pleasant weather of the last few days. 80 degrees Fahrenheit and 71% humidity. Perfection achieved.